In this video, I'm going to show you how to dimension this cable state roof, find the forces in the system by drawing the force diagram. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to determine whether an element is in pressure or tension. First, as usual, label the spaces. Imagine this point to be the center and rotate around it. So begin here with A and continue with B, C. Label the inside spaces the same way with numbers. The sum of all the loading forces has to be the same as the sum of the two reaction forces. If we sum all of them up, we get 800 kN. Divided by 2, it makes 400 kN. Now draw the load line. Mark point A approximately in the middle. Continue with force AB. Now draw the force DE in the opposite direction. We will find out that the point A and E are the same. Continue by drawing the force EF in the same direction as the force DE and draw the rest of the vertical forces. In the form diagram we see that every field except A has a horizontal force at the border with another field. Draw a horizontal line through every point in the force diagram. Beginning by point B, we see that point 1 has to lie somewhere on this horizontal line. So I'm just gonna mark it B1. At the same time, we know that point 1 has to lie somewhere on this diagonal line going through point A. Where these two lines meet is point 1. Continuing with point C, we know that point 2 has to lie somewhere on this horizontal line. At the same time, we know the line running between fields 2 and 1, so we transfer it to the force diagram so that it runs through point 1. And where the horizontal line through point C and these new diagonal lines meet is point 2. Now we do the same with point D. Transfer the line 3, 4. Somewhere on this line lies the point 4. By transferring the line A4, we find out where the point 4 lies. Now point 5 lies somewhere on the horizontal line of point E. Transfer the line 4, 5 and mark point 5. Because all the loadings are symmetrical, the same situation happens on the other side. In order to find out the forces in the system, measure the lines in the force diagram. After finding all the forces in the system, you may also want to know which elements are in pressure and which in tension. About that, I'm going to talk in the next video. Thank you for watching.